I'm Steve McShane, and America's favorite flower is the rose. So this quick video is going to show you how to control disease and pests. First, organically, and then with conventional means. Organic control, I liken it sort of to the use of escalation of force in law enforcement. At one level, the presence of the uniform, or maybe a baton, then maybe you step it up with a taser before ultimately drawing a gun. Well, the same can be said about controls in your garden. The easiest organic control is a horticultural oil. This All Seasons Spray Oil is one of my favorite. Not only does it deal with pests, but it also helps to prevent diseases. It actually smothers and is organic. If not the horticultural oil, you can actually get an oil with neem as well. Neem oil has been around for a long, long time. It's a natural fungicide and insecticide. When combined with the horticultural oil, it's like a one-two punch. Very, very, very good for organic gardening. The last uh, organic solution for disease and pests in your roses is a sulfur plant fungicide. This stuff's great. It's been around for generations. Applied lightly, it'll do very, very good to control powdery mildew, black spot, these kinds of things. Now I'd like to introduce you to conventional means of controlling pests and diseases for your roses. Probably the ones, the most popular here is this systemic. Not only will it feed, but it will also provide scientific defense against pests and disease pressure. It's applied once a year. Rosarians love it. It is chemical in its origin, so for organic gardeners, you're out of luck. Another possibility is a permethrin. This is an insecticide that will wipe out bugs. The caution is, not only does it wipe out the bad bugs, it wipes out the good bugs. One of the more popular all together, it's been around for a long time, is Seven. Also a chemical control, very effective on doing away with bugs. If you see aphids, this will nuke them pretty quick. You can do a lot out there with roses. The key is keep them watered appropriately, keep them fed, and prune them. And you won't have to really deal with disease and pest pressures as much. Let's get growing.